So two juniors and seniors, gonna be juniors and gonna be seniors. Maybe even some of you gonna be sophomores and gonna be pretty good. Uh, don't weigh on the guy. Don't wrestle like, uh, you're the man. You're working hard. You're paying a price this summer. You're gonna lift, you're gonna run, you're gonna do what it takes to be now. In wrestling season, you go out there and be dumb. Be dumb. Always wrestle with dominant condition. All right, any questions on that? Yeah, I'm gonna go over um, cross wrist roll, not to be confused with the jelly roll. Who does the jelly roll? Last jelly roll. Come on over here, slam. Come on on top of me. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, put your deep waist in. Go ahead, just start your roll. Come on up. Start your roll, right? Okay, stop. Typical jelly roll, right? You grab the, the elbow or the wrist, same side, same hand, correct? That's what most of you guys do. I want you to forget about that right now. I want you to take three deep breaths, close your eyes, and forget you ever grab the same side. Good job, right? The same side, okay? Forget that hold. Just get it out of your head. I'm going to show you something I think is significantly better that has a much higher chance of being successful. If I'm down here, and I will tell you why we want to do it differently. When I go to Jelly Wall, what is his counter? One who goes to that side, to that side. Generally speaking, I do this. He does what? And now we're struggling, right? Another thing he does when I go to jelly is he pulls his arm out. Now, I've lost it. A lot of times when you do that, you're here, you slip, you wind up here. Another thing he does, I go to jelly and put the half in on his side. See, I want you to forget all that stuff. We're going to go into a roll that none of those things can happen. What I want you to do is grab cross wrist rolls. He has his hand around my waist. By the way, I never, almost never, uh, roll right off the whistle. I, I don't want to do that right off the whistle. Okay? We're always going to do it off the side. I want to grab my hand, right, this is where his wrist goes narrow and wide, this is a hand, right the hand. Now, try to pull that out. Very tough for him to pull it out, try to half melt him. Very tough to half melt him, he goes over to that side, over to that side, my right side, I can still turn. He can still go over. Okay? I have this wrist very tight. I have the wrist. Okay? So, what's my butt and my body action going to be? I'm not going to go to my side. It takes all the power out of me once I go to my side. I'm going to stay big and wide. I'm going to take my butt cheek, kind of sit right there away from the guy. I'm opening my hips up almost like an elevator. I'm going to twist it. Holding this hand. So, on this side here, cross wrist, put my knees together, I'm driving back into him, throwing him over. Now, coming into the crotch, lowering my head. Side right here. Go ahead, come. What am I gonna do? Cross wrist. Next thing I'm gonna do, I have this tight. Now most guys aren't gonna realize what you're doing with it first. What do I do next? Knees together. Now I power back in and open my hips. Roll my hips. Rotate. Sag. Even if I hit a headlock and I start losing it, I won't 
fight it too long on the head, I will always go to the legs. Okay, watch it from the good half, my better half, definitely Warren's better half. Here, what do I do? Watch my butt. Go down, I'm rotating, rotate, rotate! Not more like a sack of potatoes. Right. Let's give it a try, ready? Let's go!